Hi, my name is Geraint West and I'm with Sanderdine International. Hi, my name is Miguel Masot, I am with the University of Southampton. And I'm Brandon St. John and I'm with Voice Imaging. This is Smart D200, this is an autonomous underwater vehicle we use for underwater imaging. We are interested in getting good quality images of the sea for as well as good localization on the water to run our research, which we are interested in doing remote understanding of our oceans to be bridge the gap between data gathering and understanding. So Miguel, how are you using the laser and imaging equipment and what's the end goal for the data? So the way we use it, we have taken stroke images of the seafloor, so we are casting light into the dark seafloor underwater, getting crisp color images as well as laser line detections to get uh, 3D information of the seafloor. With that, we are able to get 3D models of the seafloor, which we can use to infer better localization over long missions. Talking of localization, then you've put a Sonodyne um, navigation positioning package on here, which is comprised of two two bits: the Sprint Nav Mini uh, hybrid navigator, and also the uh, the Nano. Do you want to tell me a little bit about why you selected those instruments? Yeah. So the INS in this vehicle is quite particular in the sense that it integrates the DVL pressure sensor and um, the INS, so the IMU itself which gets us a very clean data output with the uh, dead record localization of the vehicle. This system also allows us to integrate the readings from the USBL system that go to the nano acoustically. So with that we get a very clean and very precise localization on the water. And not only we use the nano for that, but we also use it to bring back uh, data quality information and some data we can inquire the vehicle about both from the nano acoustically underwater or using iridium at the surface. Right, and I mean, th both those instruments are at the smaller end of the, the, uh, the kind of instruments we provide. So how come you, uh, you, you look for a vehicle this size? What, what was driving that selection of, of those, those instruments for, for a small vehicle? Right, so that's a good question. Coming from the uni, it's very important to get the time at the sea doing operations. So if we had chosen a larger vehicle, it would involve uh, uh, larger logistic operations re requiring a big ship, requiring a big transportation and logistic costs. We went for a small vehicle to be able to just put it in a van and use it with two people and operate it easily from shore or from a small boat. So using the various sensors on the vehicle, what type of resolution are you looking to get and why is that important? Right, so we're expecting to get under millimeter resolution and this is very important because we are not only interested in whole area or whole range uh, mapping of the seafloor, but we are also interested in very small objects that we can find in the seafloor. So something for instance about shellfish or small fishes or small rocks that sometimes are lost from high altitude mapping or from conventional systems because of resolution. So getting a good uh, 3D laser and good crisp still would enable us to get very detailed um, images that would otherwise require a very close range inspection on the device. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, uh, Brendan. That's, that's great. Um, if you enjoy watching that and want to know a bit more about uh, this vehicle and the various technologies that Voice and Sonaline provide for it, then don't forget to uh, follow up on our social media uh, channels. And uh, if you like it, please, please do that.